What's good with y'all boys, man? I'm gonna be honest, I don't remember the last time I, like, picked up the camera and decided to, like, I don't know what this is gonna be. Every time I end up saying I'm gonna vlog some shit, it end up turning into something completely different. So I'm gonna just, we just picking up the camera and recording shit. That's what I'm about to start calling vlogs. We just picking up the camera, doing shit, and seeing what happens. I'm just trying to do some new shit. I've been streaming a lot, like, a lot more consistent than ever before. If I don't know, I don't, I don't think I even said this on YouTube, but I was supposed to be doing i stream every day of july i think i missed like four days but even though i failed i got basically i failed the challenge because i missed like four days this shit has taught me a lot like a lot and i can say that to say commitment shit some days i would really not have too much plan but i end up streaming anyway and the fact that that just tells me that just for myself i'm becoming a lot more commitment with content but specifically streaming and i'm happy about that like because if y'all know bro i probably you can probably look through my videos bro it's been times where i said i was supposed to stream didn't stream and now i'm like i might miss some days i'm not gonna lie but a lot more committed and consistent than i usually have ever been and i'm happy about that and i feel like it's all just about progress i feel like everybody want to be the best and at the top so fast it's like gang it's just it's steps to it and if you just learn to accept that which i'm trying to do a lot more and to make the journey a lot easier bro because this shit especially the shit that i'm trying to do this shit ain't no overnight shit i can just grab and i know that end of the day i just gotta keep working regardless if i'm seeing progress today if i'm not either way if i want this shit i'm gonna have to get up the next day keep going and that's that's just what it is so and bro as i was saying before bro i've gotten like twitch checks before but it's been like 40 50 dollars which is still a lot but bro the twitch check i got even though this might not, bro, this might not sound like a lot, gang, but bro, if you don't know, Twitch people, they get paid, like, monthly, so that shit was a hundred dollars, gang, and that was just off 35, 30 subs, bro, bro, imagine the niggas that be having, like, 10k, 20, imagine, bro, no money, no pocket watcher, but that's a lot of bread, and just knowing, like, I'm telling you, God be sending me this shit, bro, because, like, bro, a hundred dollars off Twitch doing some shit I love to do just shows that, bro, again, it's not about the money, but it just shows I can make a living off this shit. Doing what I love to do is possible for sure. I just got to keep grinding, bro, and that's it. Like I said, I've got paid from Twitch before, but it wasn't a hundred, like, it was 50, which is still a lot. I'm blessed, but, like, bro, a hundred off, bro, two work shifts right there, bro. Like, that's two work shifts, probably not even that. So that just shows, bro. It's crazy, bro. And today was one of those days where I was like, oh, I wasn't really feeling it today, bro. And I don't know what it be, but it just hit me out of nowhere. We're like, damn, gang, is this shit, like, is this shit really, you feeling me? Like, is this, like, what am I doing? Like, whenever I just go through those time periods, I just know some blessings about to just come up and pop out of nowhere. So it's just a change of adapt coming that I got to just adjust to, so. I don't really trip too much about it, but July 13th, 10-19. Um, I'm supposed to be taking pictures tomorrow. Let me show y'all my fit for that. All right, so look, my bad if y'all can hear the PC. I know the PC be, PC be wig, and I, I ain't gonna lie. With this dressing shit, bro, I know I haven't been too consistent on the fashion style and shit like that, but I'm learning, bro. I'm about to just start wearing what I want to wear. Like, that's obviously what I've been doing, but just more so quality over quantity with my fits, bro, because I feel like when I used to post, it was just some, like, Trying to be the best, let niggas know I still do this shit, I can still put that shit on. But nah, dude, bruh, I'm just wearing what I want to wear, so it's probably too dark to see, bruh, but sorry if y'all can't really see it, but y'all gonna see it in the pictures and shit. This is a girl I seen on TikTok, she like know how to like knit clothes, like so she know how to like actually handmade clothes, bruh, she made like a, she made a hoodie like this, but it was 10, and I'm like, gotta get one in black. My brother just nodded at me. No, hey, no, hey. Bro, I had this probably for like a year or two now, bro. She made it a minute ago, and I haven't worn in a fit pick yet, bro. So I'm like, I'm gonna pull this off, throw me tag her, show her some love. Then I got these. I got some. I don't know if I, I think I showed y'all. I don't, damn, I don't know if I showed y'all. I had cop some big ass pants, but then cut them up into like some shorts. So I'm gonna wear these on some shit. Trust me, they like, these damn, they're basically still pants, bro. But like on like the ankle part, that's when they, they the short shit show off, but. I got these. Like I said, I've been fucking with the longer George shit a lot more than, like, the short shit. And I don't know why I haven't been doing that. Because I fuck with the baggy shit. And just having some longer, like, denim on me, I fuck with that even more. I got the Ricks. Tell my boy Tav made a trade. I got the Ricks. I'm going to pull these motherfuckers out. I'm not really a Rick type of guy either. I'm not going to lie. I fuck with the low tops more, to be honest, bro. But these give you, like, a hype booster. They look far shit. And it's Ricks. So I'm like... 
I'm gonna just pull this shit off. I tried this shit on too. I got the cut, so everything looked 10 times better with a cut, so. And then I got this bag from the thrift I got a minute ago. I'm gonna throw this on as like a lure accessory, like a overbody cross bag on some shit like this. Have it had that bitch in front of me like that. Just trying different shit out. It's fun, cause it's like, it's no limits to this shit at all. You can wear whatever you want to wear and just try with this shit. So I'm like, fuck it. A lot of niggas might not see the vision at first. Shit, I don't even see the vision myself, bro. And all this shit, I'm just, like I said, I'm just trying shit. So it's really no vision to see. If you fuck with it, you fuck with it. If you don't, you don't. End of the day, I fuck with it. So shit, who cares, bro? We just chill, laid back, vlogging, getting fly on some shit. I really started off with those videos, going downtown, bro. That's probably, bro, it's probably so many videos where I got in the title, going downtown, taking pictures or some shit like that. That's where I really started off on this shit. That was like my first couple videos, bro. So good to remember some old roots but yeah yo don't understand that man understand don't really matter it's not the main point of the fix but y'all can see it now pocket there there and pocket there and we got the jokes let me cut these motherfuckers up I know a lot of pants naturally got this, and I'm starting to realize that, but I fuck with this, like, double pocket shit heavy. I don't know why, but that shit's so hard. We gon' have a book bag. I thought I would have as an accessory, some hat bag, but this is all my shit in there. And this, this, and I got this bag at the by the way. Crazy for him, but. Hey, yo. I got all right, hey, I got all right. Got the lips. I done showed y'all these hella times, but. Rich, rich. I gotta get some more tats, bro. My shit is so small, but it's all oh, shit. But, um, yeah. That's the fit. I'm about to be playing this shit on this shit. It's too hot to turn that motherfucker off. But, this shit is right now. Shit. I told you, but the dirt's so big, it looked like fucking pants, but it fits my socks, bro. But, yeah. Nigga get the smile. <laughs> <laughs> nigga get the wig. Fucking uh, hockey jersey. Brad Simmons. Louis. Nice. Homer is here. Chrome Hurt. I, I forgot where these from, bro. What's up? Ooh, man, bro. She got the uh, Valencia's breath. Little side bag, bro. This is cheap shit from Boo Boo, man. Shit. We got the rigs. This is really some slight, whole bunch of slight shit, but we got the rigs. Some big ass pants to put up in them. Some George. Girl made this for me, shout out to her. This bag, you're not calling this, but main accessory. Alright, bro, what's good with y'all boys, man? I know this vlog is low key everywhere. Y'all probably don't know what the fuck going on. I don't really know what's going on either in video context wise. I'm just picking up the camera, recording for y'all. The last time y'all see me, probably the clip when I was editing the pics. Tuesday, July 16th, 10.34. And today is kind of a big day for me because I've been going through this process of an apprenticeship. I barely know what it is myself, I'm not gonna lie, but basically it's kind of in context, like a summed up trade school, you can say. The one that I got, electrician, stuff like that. So I might be the nigga that run up in your crib, gotta fix your lights right quick on some quick shit. <laughs> basically shit like that. I did a little bit of research. It was about six feet deep. We got to reattest the... Listen, I don't know how this shit going to turn out. Because hopefully they teach... Hopefully... Obviously, they're going to teach me how to do all this shit. I'm just worried about fucking a nigga crib up. That's all I'm worried about. I ain't going to lie, but... We should be good. Um, they obviously gonna teach me how to do all this shit first. So I'm not too worried about it. It's just gonna be a matter of me having a lot to fuck in and liking with that. But they make bag. They make bank. They make bank. My uncle do this shit. So I'm gonna stack this shit the fuck up. And the math, I'm not even gonna think about the money too much because I'm gonna just save all that shit up. All that shit is coming in. It's gonna just gonna get saved. I'm gonna invest in y'all. I gotta get a new PC too eventually. So this small shit like that, I'm gonna just save up for all that shit. And we just gonna say, this money is really gonna be for saving. And obviously for the experience of me 
Cause eventually, depending on if I complete everything within this shit, I'm able to get my CDOs, some shit like that. Just to have some shit under my belt. Cause now I am getting older, man. We are out of high school, so just to have that type of shit under my belt is a great thing to do. So I advise y'all. Obviously, my main goal, content. I want to be doing some extra shit that can make me some money right now. Until I can be doing all everything I want to do full time. So I'm about to take a shower and shit like that. Once I freshen up, I'm gonna hop back on the camera and then talk to y'all. Alright, y'all. So this is the motherfucking fit. As of right now, I have to throw on the suit and tie, motherfucker. Feel me? Tight shit. Then I'm gonna throw on the Margiela's. Um, damn. damn. Yeah. Low key got her dirty a little bit, which I'm low key upset about, but I'm gonna throw these on. And that's gonna be the fit for today. I'm just hoping for the best. I will throw the motherfucking hat on. Alright, son. Shout out my nigga Tab. You know what I'm saying? Go through the motherfucking head on or some shit. Yeah, this is the fit though. You feel me? This is some very calm. Obviously, I'm not wearing a hat, but this is the fit though, including the Margies. I don't think I even told y'all how the process works. So basically, get put through the system. I got picked out of like 10 people. Basically, I got selected for the interview. So today is that interview. So hopefully it goes good. Why do my shit look, bro? Hey. Yeah, like I said, I know there's gonna be everywhere kind of video, but I still want to get this out for y'all do something for y'all. I don't want to keep holding on the footage and shit like that. So, like, fuck it. Let me add this in here. Why not? It's part of my life. Bro, let me know how y'all feel. Look, my, my cologne, I'm looking get on some grandma and shit. My cologne, cologne collection look getting crazy. You got the YSL. And then my mom recently got me the Prada one. This one she said she wanted me to put on because she said she proud of me. You feel me? So, we're going to put this on right quick. I'm about if y'all can really see me, but I'm going to try to put this on here right quick. I don't feel like getting the tripod. So, hopefully... This shit can just work for a kid. Right, I know y'all can't see me, but I'm about to open this up, man. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I'm proud of myself, bro. I didn't came a long ass way with this shit, so. I appreciate yourself. The shit you going through, shit you feel me, trials and errors, everything. I don't wanna put too much on everybody. So I'm gonna start. I, I only like the UD for special occasions, so. I ain't gonna put on too much, but. Put a little bit on the neck, a little bit. A little bit on the neck. Might be a girl interviewer. Gotta look. Ha! Smell presentable. Ha <laughs> Not over regardless, man. Always look presentable. But uh, yeah. Been like three times. Three times. Three times. Nine times. Nine times. Two nine. Oh my. Y'all don't follow the TikTok, bro. Follow the TikTok, bro. I be trying to be active on this shit, bro. Follow the TikTok, man. Be posting clips and shit. All sorts of shit, but I'm gonna talk to y'all when I get back though. Pray for me, man. But I'm gonna let y'all know how I go. I changed and shit. I literally just got back home like probably 10 minutes ago. But for the interview, bro, it was solid. I'm not gonna lie, it was cool. It was like four people interviewing me at one time, asking me different questions, but it was chill though. I kept my composure. You feel me? I stuttered a little bit. It was all females, but it was cool though. It was cool people, cool vibes. Um, you know, hopefully I get it, but I'm just blessed to be able to get these opportunities like this to better my life and shit like that. Why am I acting like y'all niggas are interviewing me? I'm like, bro, I'm all right, hold on, let me. I'm thinking I'm still getting interviewed. Let me relax. I guess I hopefully we get it, you know, you feel me? Because if I get that, bro, I grind that shit out, bro. We gon' bro. Probably wrap up the video right here. Like I said, I know this video might be a little bit everywhere, whole bunch of shit going on, but I wanted to come back and finish the video because I'm, I'm trying to get out that stage of just wasting footage. Like, I'm just recording shit and then I end up not uploading shit. Like, what's the point of recording, bro? So I'm just trying to get this shit out for y'all, do what I can. Make something out of nothing, like seriously though. I hope y'all enjoyed this. If y'all want more videos or like vlogs like this where I just do different shit on different days and make it into one big video, I can do that for y'all. But again, like I said, I love y'all boys, man. And also, I came up with a community name. I know I know y'all probably a little bit confused because I was supposed to been saying this in a couple videos previously, but I came up with a community name, Vets. Off the rip, top of the head, it might not make that much sense to y'all, which is perfectly fine. But the vision I got for it, it's a great vision. Um, I'm gonna talk more about it in like a different video, but I just wanted to tell y'all. So now when y'all walking around, if y'all part of the community, nigga, you a vet. Might not make the most sense now, but it will eventually. Y'all know the words, man. Y'all keep going for me. I'm gonna keep going for y'all. Yo, boy, find this out. Peace.